Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Ooh, do we get to work with power tools? Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. Because I would enjoy this. Magazines. Oh. Well, that's it. You got it. I was kind of hoping we'd use a buzzsaw or something. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly hmm. believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. It was just a bad situation that got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize, which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food, and Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. They never mentioned you. No? Hmm. Huh. Uh, not even Luke? Well, I mean, that's to be expected, ain't it? You don't know me, do you? What are they gonna say? Well, Bonnie ain't here? You wouldn't know what he was talking about. I guess that could be it. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Still a Nobody's dick. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. Still don't know if I trust her. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. <laughs> Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Octavia, didn't she from 400 days? Follow me. Come on. I think she's from like the end of 400 days. So I wonder if we'll see any of those other characters here or hear from them at least. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. All right, I'm definitely uh, touching everything now. Hey. 
Hmm. Are you okay? I know it's it's got to be hard. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? I don't like the way Sarah's looking hey, so, at that. Is she going to be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I got to concentrate on my work. was awkward. I was just about to say that. that again. I'm going to go work now. Reggie, you're weird. Uh It's another choice where you don't have a time limit, so I, don't, I wonder what's going to happen if, uh... I don't like the way she's staring at that. And considering what she, she just said earlier about not wanting to hurt people, why do I get the feeling now that if I ignore this, she's going to hurt someone? Screw it. Watch me. That's just a feeling I got and I didn't like it. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. At least I'll get the blame for this one. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Well, he hey, will, but... What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, so... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about.
Man. Thanks for the help, girls. Seems like no matter what, Reggie was gonna get some shit. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Well, shit. Yeah, I think, uh, old Reggie was screwed either way. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Accident my ass. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just... Be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? God damn it, Kenny. Me. Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done, and... <laughs> Shit! Fucking grab something! Oh, God damn it. Smack that stone bitch again. Keep doing it. Oh. Or not. Fair enough. <laughs> Just keep going. Oh, he's, he's back here too. Damn. Q, Q it up, Q E, nice, oh sweet, well that works, eh, sledgehammer's gonna be heavy as hell, but, I did spy a screwdriver, What is that? Yeah, there we go. Get off. Oh, nasty. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. 
Yeah, thanks, douche. Oh, thank God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? The hell? What does that say? Dead body. What is that? Dead body something. I'm gonna go inside the comic book shop. Oh, I get to. This is not. Ah, stop! Hey, it's me, Luke. Yes. Man, bit the hell out of me. Think you drew blood. Come all this way. Jeez. This is this is the welcome I get. I was there. worried. We all were. How's that for a welcome? Oh, good to see you too, kid. All right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh. shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Hmm. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes, sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know, hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah, <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just, we just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart. Okay, we got a plan. Uh, okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Clementine, get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. I know, Luke seems to be acting weird, man. What were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! I don't know, something, something weird's going on with Luke, I think. He's talking very strangely. So I don't know, we'll have to see what's going on with that. Oh, look who it is. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Wyatt, I think his name was. So yeah, it looks like a majority of the characters are going to be here. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? 
Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. Hmm. You have to be able to contribute. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. Hmm. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Interesting conversation. He's still a crazy douchebag, but you know. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. Hmm. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once, 
Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. Well, maybe we can do both. You guys should take a look in the mirror sometime. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted <laughs> on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. Yep, that's why she was covered in stuff like they mentioned earlier. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Do the same same thing in the what show. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. We figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Oh, so Where now we're all buddy buddy. come from? Started off with evil eyes, and now we're we're all we good friends. Use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. Fuck I it. Mean that clam. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Grab that son bitch. Sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. Probably gonna have to grab onto the ladder, I bet. We're all done. It's not letting me though. He's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Ladder cage. Ow. <laughs> we're in trouble. Oh, we're gonna be in so much more trouble pretty soon. Better hurry up. There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. Don't want that douchebag looking at us. No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. There's something else here. So you're not sure? What about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? Last time, huh? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Well, damn. Yeah. 
Anything over here? No. So what am I missing? All right, let's look over the edge then. What am I not seeing? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's have a look. Let's see if the coast is clear. Oh, there are the radios. Coast is clear enough. 